Good morning, Year 3. I hope you're well and you've managed to connect with your Zoom call earlier with Miss Ashford and Mr Day. And I also hope that you've been able to get on with your work for the last few days. Miss Ashford, uh, I know uh, getting in touch with you about it, so I look forward to hearing from her uh, how well you've all been doing. And I'm sure the children who are in the key worker class will be working really hard as well. Guys, I can't wait to see it all. I know you've been working really hard and I know this is strange for you. Today, you're going to be thinking mainly about the four times table. That's your second video. But the first video with me, I'd like to just go over some learning from when you were younger around our 3D shape and our, the faces of them. So we talked a little bit before about the idea that we've got 2D and 3D shapes. Okay, and these 3D shapes are ones that we can touch, ones which we can engage with differently, so with our, our sense of feeling. And if we think really simply, we don't talk about this being a side. We talk about the, the front of our head is a face. Okay, and that's the same, same idea with 3D shapes, that because they're something that's got not a side, but they've got a face, um, the language, therefore, that we use is a face. Okay. Now here, just to revisit, we've got some 3D shapes. We've got a cylinder, a cube, a sphere, a pyramid, and a cuboid. Can you see which one's which? Now, if you they haven't got letters on, but maybe what you can do is say the first one's number one. So what's what one, one is that cylinder, a cube? Write a number for each one and see if you can identify which one's which. Pause the video while you do that, please, year three. Okay, we'll have a look at these now. So the first one is a cube. The second one's a cuboid. A similar word, but slightly different ending to it. The third one's a cylinder. I imagine most of you got that. You'll probably like a few smarties. A sphere. We like a bit of sport, don't we? And we also like living on our world, our globe, which is a sphere. And finally, we've got a pyramid. And I know that you fantastic ancient Egyptian historians are going to be looking at lots of pyramids from four or 5,000 years ago. Okay, so, oh, guys, we've got those 2D shapes. Sorry, those 3D shapes. Now we're going to think about which one of these has got five faces. So remember, faces with 3D shapes is the... Uh, elements that we can that, that are flat um, and so with these flat or the the whole side so with these which of these do we think has got five faces okay do we think the triangular base pyramid do we think the triangular prism do we think the cuboid or do we think the cone which of these four 3d shapes has got five faces Lots of us will have identified there's two endpoints to that triangular uh, uh, prism, and then there's three other faces. Now, the best way of thinking about a triangular prism, if you ever are not sure, Toblerones, okay? They're triangular prisms, okay? Now, one of these has six flat faces and zero curved surfaces. So is it the square base pyramid? Is it the cube? Or is it the triangular uh, prism? Which of these? Three 3D shapes has got six flat faces. Try and work through that. Pause the video if you need a second. Okie dokie. The one that's got the six faces is the cube. Okay, so a square box. I'm very chocolatey today, so I'm thinking very chocolate orange. Not the not the sphere, but in the box it's a square, square face that it's got. So it's got six square faces to make that cube. Okay, the sentence here, this shape has uh, flat faces and uh, curved surfaces. Copy the sentence out, but don't write uh. You've got to fill in where I've said uh with a number, please. So pause the video, copy the sentence, and see if you've got the correct answer. Mm. Five flat faces, because we've got one for each of the elements that are raised off the ground, and then we've got that base at the bottom of the square base pyramid, but the zero curved surfaces. Okay, so it's these 2D shapes on the right-hand side, which one can you see on the flat faces of the 3D shapes? So think about the flat faces of that cylinder, that um, uh, triangular pyramid, and that cube, cube. Which face, which shape can we see that are on the two D shape on the side? So which one matches the two D shape to the face of the three D shape? So do you think A goes with one, A goes with two, A goes with three? What do you think with that cylinder? It goes with E circle. Yeah, the triangular base pyramid with the triangle and the square with the cuboid. Okay, right, guys. This Three, sorry, four shapes here. Um, which of these shapes is the odd one out? And see if you can identify why. Okay, so one of these is different to the other ones. Which one and why? 
Oh, not sure, not sure, not sure. Give you a bit of help. Okay, it's C. So it's that one that's different to the other three. Why is C different? Have a look at C now. Have a real think. Pause your video. Look, look, look. What's different about C compared to A, B, and D? Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, hopefully you've spotted that. It's the only shape that doesn't have any curved surfaces. Sorry, I'm in the way of your answer. It's the only one that doesn't have a curved surfaces. So our, our cone for A, our sphere for B, and our, our cylinder for C, sorry, for D, all have curved surfaces, whereas D, C only has flat faces, only has flat faces. Okay, guys, we'll move on now. Um, what I'd like you to do th this week, is you're going to try 7A, 7B, 8A, and it should say 8B. It says 8A twice. I don't know why that is, guys. Uh, have a go at those four or questions. Pause the video while you do it, and we'll look straight away at the answers. So copy in that sentences, those sentences out for 7A and 7B, and then matching the ones for 8A and 8A. It's repeated itself. Pause the video now. Let's see how we did. Okie dokie. Five flat faces and zero curved surfaces, and six flat faces and zero curved surfaces. And then for eight, we've got square, triangle, and circle. I'm sure you've got those because you're matching your 3D shapes to your 2D uh, shapes. And then we've got our circle, our triangle, and our rectangles. Uh, uh, and then for C, it's that circle. Okay. Hopefully, somebody spotted for the second one then, for 8B, that the B, uh, you've got a triangle at the end of the triangular uh, pit prism, but then there's three rectangles, okay? And as I say, the best way to double check is get some Toblerone, okay? Okay, okay, guys, if you, were, if you were successful with those previous ones, have a look at this. If not, could you go on a bit of a shape hunt for me? Can you see, if you don't have any Toblerone, can you find any other triangular pyramids in the house? Can you find any sorry, any other triangular prisms? Can you see if, like me, you've got anything that could do as a cuboid? Can you see if you can spot anything in your house that looks like it could be a cylinder? Can you see what you can find? If you've done that, great. Maybe send a photo or two of Mr. Dow on your, tre on your 3D treasure hunt. Now have a go at these other questions. And again, our numbers and our letters have got a bit mixed up. We've got 9A and 9A, and then 10A and 10B. So what you've got to do is spot with 9A, which one's got six faces, which one with 9B, it should say, has got five faces. Looking at eight, uh, 10A, two together, when we add two together, they've got seven flat faces, and then two together for B uh, and 10B, they've got... Uh, seven flat faces. So let's see if you can do that. Pause the video while you think about that. Great stuff if you've got A and D as six faces, so the cuboid and the cube, and then C is our triangular um, uh, triangular prism uh, that we've got for C, which has five faces. The triangular prism and the cylinder could combine, so five um, fa sorry, the four faces of the triangular pit. Sorry, the five faces, the four faces of the triangular. The four, five flat faces of the triangular prism and the two flat faces of the cylinder. And then there's the additional curved surface um, for the seven. And then for 10B, we've got the cone, which has one flat face and the cuboid, which have six. So one add six makes seven. Well done if you've worked through that. OK, and then we'll have a look at the final element of our lesson, which is the sheet relating to your next video. Now, when you're working through this, I've been really impressed by the work you've been doing, guys. I really like the fact that you're not all able to print it out. I don't like it, but I like the fact that despite that, you're showing perseverance and you're powering on for having a good go at these sheets. Now, you've got the sheet in your other video and as part of your work. If you have a look, where you're looking at your pictograms, the thing to remember is that bottom uh, circle tells us that each one of those circles is worth four. Now, each one of those circles, you'll also know, and you'd know this from year two, needs to be the same size. So when you're doing a pictogram, you've got to think about what the key is. So that's the point that tells us it's worth four. But you've also got to ensure that your representation, so the way you indicate those, is the same size each time. So you've got to make sure both of those things are true, because otherwise the pictogram just becomes a bit confusing. It might be a nice picture, but it's not a useful mathematical tool. So try and be really careful with your drawing or your layout of your pictogram. 
Thank you for listening so well, Year 3, and I look forward to seeing all that wonderful work. Oh, sorry, just one thing. Sorry about Teddy and Eva, I forgot to say. Teddy and Eva, um, Teddy said something. He said that some of the numbers in the four times table are even, but not all of them. Eva sa said something else. Um, and when you're, when you're saying who you agree with, make sure you really, really explain it. Maybe you can explain it, not just with words, but with numbers. You can show some evidence. So think about, think about how you can explain it. So really, really try and show with some number sentences or some numbers how they're right or they're wrong. Okay. Good stuff, year three. Thank you for listening so well, and I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.